Hi everyone, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to edit multiple different frame rates in Filmora. Now, before we get started with this video, make sure you download Filmora by clicking on the link in the description box below. Now, I've been getting this question a bunch, and that is, can you just plop in a bunch of random footage in a project with multiple different frame rates and expect it to work flawlessly? Short answer is no. When you're editing in a specific project that has one set frame rate, you have to make sure that all of the footage that you're importing can run at that frame rate. So there has to be specific tweaks involved to the footage in order to make it run smoothly. For example, here is my Filmora project. I have a bunch of different footage loaded in the browser here. However, most of this footage is shot in 120 frames per second. And most filmmakers actually edit and export their videos or films in 24 frames per second. So we have to make adjustments here. To make any specific adjustments to the frame rate of your project is really easy. All you have to do is go into File, then Project Settings, and you can adjust your aspect ratio, frame rate, and resolution. I'm going to change my frame rate from 60 frames to 23.97, which is the film standard. Once that's selected, click OK. So I'm going to find some footage here. For example, I'm going to get this clip. Immediately, you can see a window that pops up and asks us if we want to switch the project settings to 120 frames per second to match the clip or to keep it at 23.97. I want to keep it at 23.97. And now what we want to do is make sure that this footage runs evenly and smoothly at 24 frames per second. We can't just click play and expect it to run smoothly because never forget that the frame rate is set to your project, not the footage. So we need to do some calculations here. I'm going to bring out my calculator. We have 24 frames per second footage and 120 frames per second clips. So at the end of the day, we're either speeding up footage to match 24 frames per second or slowing it down to match 24 frames per second. So since I have 120 frames per second, we need to slow it down in order for it to run at 24 frames per second. I know this sounds really confusing, but once we get the calculator out and you see the numbers, it'll start making sense. We want to calculate how slow we can slow down this footage to make it run smoothly at 24 frames per second. So I'm gonna take 24 and divide it by 120. We have 0.2 or 20%. So that's the slowest we can run the footage at, and this will actually be super slow motion. However, we can continuously double up at increments of 0.2. For example, we can go from 0.2 speed to 0.4 speed, all the way up to 0.8 speed, and the footage will run properly at 24 frames per second. So here we have 0.2, which means 20%. I'm gonna click on the clip, and I'm gonna go to speed. I'm gonna go to this option right here, and type in 0.2. It will automatically slow down the footage and this will be super slow-mo running smoothly at 24 frames per second. Now we can also speed up the footage and double up its rate at 0.4 times. And if you play back the footage now, it'll be running at double the speed compared to 20%. And the same thing goes for 0.8, which is 80%. So the fastest that you can run this footage at in this project file is 0.8 or 80% speed any faster and you're just not gonna get authentic 24 frames per second. Also don't forget that you have to understand how audio works. Audio will also be changed if you slow down the footage or speed it up. So make sure that when you're recording audio that it matches the frame rate that your project will be in. I know this video was pretty technical but these are very important concepts when it comes down to video and content creation. So this is how easy it is to fix that issue and work with different multiple frame rates within Filmora. You just have to either speed it up or slow it down and that will get you the look that you're wanting in this specific frame rate for this project. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe with those notifications turned on and I'll see you in another video. Peace.